this tutorial is on the auto turret. Um, it's changed dramatically since they implemented the electrical system. They didn't used to take electricity to operate, but now they do. Uh, they require 10 power, um, which is what a small battery puts out. So you could potentially run an auto turret off of a small battery if you would like. Um, but these other outputs, which I've never really used in um, vanilla, uh, has a target, low ammo, no ammo. Those three features also require one power output each, which I've you know, hooked up to some lights for some visual um, triggers. The minimum amount of ammo you can have without the low ammo light coming on, I believe is 51. If I take one out at 50, now it triggers the siren light that I have hooked up to it. Um, if we then ran out of ammo, we would be triggering the, the second light here, the siren light. I'm sorry, the siren light, the flasher light. Um, this now tells us that it's out of ammo. And then if I was to clear myself an authorization and turn it back on, this light will turn on when it targets me. So now, if even if it was out of ammo and if um, or it not, it's not low on ammo anymore, obviously uh, it's completely out. If I was in someone's compound and this targeted me, th it, this would still indicate from inside my base that um, that, I, that somebody was in my compound getting targeted at that point. So um, at least we would know that someone's still maybe door camping us or somebody's still in the area even after the auto turret has run out of ammo. Still a pretty cool little feature. Um, I don't ever really use these features. Uh, if I was in the middle of defending my base from a, a raid, you know, you're gonna be it's gonna be pretty apparent once the the auto turret runs out of ammo. Um, doesn't I don't really need to know if it gets broken because I can hear it get broken if someone breaks it. Um, I've never really had a, a reason to use these three features, so I don't use them ever. Uh, but at least they're there if you want to use them. You could you could use this for other. Uh, other reasons, you know, if you needed to trigger uh, something like a generator or any, anything really. Um, I've never really explored going into that, but uh, there are some other things you could use these features for. Uh, maybe it starts getting low on ammo and uh, it creates a, um, a power to a blocker uh, or to unblock a blocker so the next auto turret sitting next to it turns on with its full ammo and then it starts to spray. You know, there's just a lot of different things you could use it for. Um, another neat thing about auto turrets is you can't authorize on them unless you're within cupboard range. So if your auto turret is turned off and someone comes running up to your auto turret, if they don't have authorization on your cupboard, they can't authorize on the auto turret, which is not something I knew at first, but uh, it's a pretty neat thing. I mean, they could still come up and break it with a melee tool, but at least they kind of come over here and and clear authorization on it and then put their ammo on it and then when you turn it on it kills you instead and that's another thing to be aware of if I were to set this up in my base uh, near the power source that I'm going to turn on and I forget to authorize on this and I turn it on it will kill me and it will cover that area where I turn on or off the switch therefore you could actually uh, stop yourself from being able to do anything in your base with your own auto turret if you're not careful so just something to keep in mind um, another thing I've ran into, especially while streaming, is um, I've had people stream snipe me before and known where my turn on power switch was to my auto turrets and they blew directly into my electrical room um, and were able to turn off the auto turrets that were inside of my compound. So in some cases it's nice to be able to turn these on and off to get your friends authorized on them, but uh, keep in mind that if someone does blow into your electrical room and they find your switches, they can turn these off. So um, I've found that um, you know using direct connections is, is better sometimes uh, just to keep that from happening. And that's my uh, tutorial on the auto turret.